Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out a standalone resource that allows your helicopter to just hover in place, which is an awesome idea. I do want to say pardon the noise in the background of my AC unit. It is a heat wave right now in California and I am at like a physically dying in heat. So please excuse me. Thank you for waiting for the videos this weekend. I was down in LA just to have some family time. So I'm glad to be back. Anyway, let's go ahead and get straight into this. All you're gonna have to do is go to the resource page linked in the description and then it will take you to a GitHub page. When you're on this github page just click that green button and press the download zip file you're going to go ahead and open this up in winzip 7zip winrar whatever you use to open up your files now if you don't already have a server i've seen a lot of questions about this recently you do need a server for this this is not a client side script you can't install this on your client it has to be server side the server owner the person you're playing on the server with has to be the one to install it um so if you go in here you can see there are all of the files the fx manifest the client.lula etc 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 there's two things we're going to do first you're going to find wherever your resources are for me it's my server data resources folder for you it could be your tx data folder or if you're on zap hosting your ftp file access wherever you have it from where you installed your server and then you're just going to go ahead and drag that overall folder into this um, resources folder and then you're going to press rename and you're going to get rid of the dash main i've seen some people ask about that as well some resources do require it because the dash main or dash master is something that github adds in our case, it wouldn't matter, but we're just going to go in and copy the PG Heli Hover, and then we're going to go to our server.cfg, edit it with Notepad++, go to our resource list, and do ensure the name of the resource, just like that. Save, and I'm going to start up the server, and if we check our server when it starts up, we just want to make sure in here it says started resource, the name of the resource, PG Heli Hover. Now, we are good to go. If we go ahead and check out this, you can see that the command is slash hover, so all we have to do is hop in game and check it out, so let's check it out. All right, so we are in a helicopter here, and I'm just going to get up a little bit so we don't actually crash into a mountain before we even start to check out this resource. So now that we are in the air, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to a nice hovering altitude and type slash hover and then go ahead and press enter. You'll see in the top left, it says auto hover has been engaged, and now you're just going to hover here, which is awesome. Then to disable it, all you have to do is slash hover, and then it disengages itself and you can fly around as you need. Very cool resource. I really enjoy it. Um, if you want to use it, go download it. And um, if you have any questions, ask the author on the resource page. Thank you so much again for waiting. Thank you for dealing with the AC unit noise. And I will see you in the next video in just a couple days.